I see color as a form of communication. I feel like it tells a story. When I look at colors like in a painting, I think automatically, can I put that on a head? My name is Daniel Moon and I'm a hair colorist. I first started getting into hair when I was in the Marine Corps. I barbered myself and other friends. I was granted permission to exit the Marine Corps to go to hair school. Being so restricted in the military, I think uh, getting out of it, there were no limits. Restriction was enforced on me, so when it came to creating, I had a vow that I'd never restrict myself from doing something that felt like I wanted to do and somehow came up with this magic way of coloring hair. So freehand hair coloring is looking at the head as a canvas, whether it's short hair or long hair, being able to just paint on it as if it was a sculpture. I find inspiration everywhere. I look to the art world. I look to the magazine world. I look in books. I look where people don't think about looking. When I'm choosing colors and designs, I imagine like a checkerboard. This purple's here, this thread is here. Can I connect this color to that color? I'm looking at it from every angle, top, bottom, left, right, and then just playing with those different kind of shapes. I don't think about being different from other hairstylists. I create work that is different for me. It's different from my last piece. I think people dye their hair to have fun, to create a persona that's fun to live in. Did some big color changes and had some great collaborations with Madonna, Katy Perry, Nicole Richie, and Zoe Kravitz. The work that I create is temporary, and that is a romantic thing. Because it fades away, hair grows out. I can spend three hours, six hours on a piece, and then I can walk out the door and then it's never seen again. I like that it's an art form that washes away. I like to just continue on creating and just making something that I've never seen before.